Welcome to Cast and Cajun. I'm your host, Tony Fondo. We're here in Toledo Bend where we had planned to fish with Captain JT of Living the Dream Charters for Sake Lake. We've got thunderstorms all around us, getting ready to hit, but we're lucky enough to be friends with Bob Champagne, who invited us to fish under his covered dock. So let's see what's going to happen. Get ready for an exciting half hour with Cast and Cajun. <laughs> My favorite place to fish is good old Terrebonne Parish. But sometimes it's nice to get out of town and see something different. So here we go on our road trip to Toledo Bend. Come along and join the fun. Okay, a little bit of history of Toledo Bend. Uh, the lake was formed around, around 1970. I think the dam was completed near 1969. Timber companies were working hand over fist trying to get all the timber off out of the, the lake before it actually filled up the full pool. From my understanding, big storms came in and basically the water level started filling up so you'll hear old stories of actual equipment, uh, timber equipment in, in the actual lake underwater. There's old houses, uh, cemeteries, roads, bridges. It's all under the Toledo Bend and I find that that's pretty unique Fishing here in the middle of the thunderstorm. We come out here to go fish Soccer Lake with Captain JT out on one of his pontoon boats. Storm came along, so we lucked out. We got a buddy with a camp, a hole in the middle of the dock, under the roof. Fishing in 20 feet of water right here. Got a little bitty split weight, split shot, tiny hook, letting it go down to the bottom. Reeling it up a couple of feet, and there's a bite, and there's a fish. A little baby soccer right flavor, but the wrong size. But let that one go, and he can go tell his mama. Now see if I can catch her. Fish on. I hope it's a soccer lake. Oh, it's a catfish. You gotta be careful with these. You don't wanna get stuck. But they are very good eating. Nice, Bubba. Oh. Yeah, that's still nice. Now, you know, a soccer league or a crappie or a white perch, some people call them specks, they only come up to eat. So if your bait's below them like this, they're not going to come down to eat a bait. Soccer league always feed up. So sometimes we drop the bait down. And we reel it up real slow. When it gets above them, poof, that's when they hit it. And, and there's your Bubba Magui tip of the day. Tip of the day. All right, I went down, coming up a little bit. I don't know if I made it all the way to the bottom. Oh, I'm hooked onto something. Yeah, I must have a fish. Yeah, I got a good one. I got a good one here. He doesn't get hung up. Oh, yeah. Nice. That'll keep for sure. Okay, Bubba was throwing away a couple of them that I was going to keep. Because this was a long drive over here. Whoops. But well worth it. Nice. This is a, probably a medium to lead a bend soccer. Lake. In this rain, it's been tough to see our line. You got to kind of watch your line and. What is this, Bubba? Six pound? Yeah, six six pound um, 
um, mono, uh, the, uh, monofilament? The monofilament with the fluorocarbon. Fluor oh, fluorocarbon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's more invisible than uh, monofilament. It's a little strong, I believe. Uh, let me try it one more time in this little other hole right here. I'm thinking about going back in the hole. Oh, oh, it took my minnow. That little sneaky, that little sneaky crappie stole my bait, and I didn't even feel it when he hit it. I'll just wrap around a pole or... There he is. I knew something was after it. Nice one. You got him. Yep. And, and when you're reeling up real slow, you can, if you feel your men are kind of going. When the fish is out there, you feel them nervous. Just stop your line, just like I did. And, and you notice I didn't set the hook hard at all. Just, just reel. Just reel. Just a little bitty pop and, and, and reel them up. You know, you've often, you often hear me say that I like to fish with people who are better than me. And I've got to admit, Bubba Magoo is one of them. This oh, guy can know. catch fish. When it comes to perch, sockelet, bass, speckled trout, redfish, he is very good. <laughs>